This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is... Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap if you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit, and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! You don't belong here anymore. 
Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened, and all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Yes, you do. Don't you know enough to stay away? I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Cut it out! You don't belong here anymore. Oh boy, are you in trouble! You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? Yes, you do. You don't belong here anymore. I sure didn't expect you to show your face here again. We were so busy fighting those bugs, there wasn't anyone to help put out the fires that started after you left. It was horrible. Yes, you do. Amada's up there, in the clinic with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. The damned goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I'm gonna barber the hell out of your hair. Okay, hold still. Catch you later. Maybe. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! 
Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. I never thought you'd be back. Please, be careful. It's good to Hey, good to see you again. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. Bye. You... You're alive! Later. Wow, you're back. Bye. Hello. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. That would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact... I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. I've spent many nights asking myself exactly that. He certainly didn't tell me before he left. I blame myself, really... I should have known better than to let him enter our home in the first place. He certainly showed his true colors in the end. 
were he raised in the cleanliness of our vault, perhaps your father would have shown more dedication to the important things in life. Just as well that he left. We mustn't let humanity's last pure specimens be sullied with his type. No, but he didn't risk bringing you out into it either. You have to wonder, is that why he left you behind? He wanted to know you were someplace safe? And then, like a fool, you squandered the greatest gift he ever left you. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? I admit, in the two hundred years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little, but we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. You don't belong here anymore. Watch it, will you? You did it! Amata, everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes. And I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. I never thought you'd be back. I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change.
I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. I never thought you'd be back. Why don't you look where you're going? Go on, get out. <laughs> 